Have you guys ever been ridiculed because maybe you're a prepper or maybe you do things in your life other people just don't think that are acceptable in today's society? Why is it that people feel the need to degrade the people that want to be prepared? I've been getting a lot of emails, especially while I was gone on vacation, and a lot of people are asking me questions on how to deal with a lot of these different situations and how to deal with these people that choose to really ridicule people because you want to be prepared. The fact of the matter really is, folks, is you really have to sit back and you have to think what it is that you want to do with your own life. It doesn't really matter what other people really think. It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter on any of those different types of topics because in the end, we are the ones that have to be prepared. We're the ones that have the feelings that what we do is so that we can be prepared for our families and for maybe our friends or whoever else it may be. The problem with the whole situation is that people have to really sit back and start ignoring all the BS that's out there and all the negative comments that people give you, whether it be family members, it be friends, it could be uh, whoever, co-workers and all this kind of stuff. People are jealous of people that are prepared for whatever type of situation. Um, whether it's financial, you could be prepared for your financial freedom. Uh, you don't have credit card debt. You don't like to run up your credit cards. You like to have cash on hand. You pay cash for things so you know it's paid for, right? So what is the difference between that and being prepared? Being prepared is a whole nother logic of a person's well-being and the way that they think. Now, a lot of people that are being prepared nowadays are more of a middle class to an older generation because they have learned, they have lived through different types of scenarios and we know what can happen and we know what we went through and we don't want to go through that again. That's why so many people in an age frame of roughly between probably 30 and 55 are really big into being prepared, whether like it is prepared for a storm, it's prepared for a loss of job, it's prepared for any type of unseen thing that happens to us on a daily basis. You never know from day to day, you could be in a car accident, you could lose your job, you, Things can happen, and then if you are prepared, you have something to fall back on. So we have to really start thinking about what it is that we want to do with our own lives and stop caring what everybody else out there thinks. Now, it, just to give you an example of what I'm talking about, um, I used to really pay attention to all the negative comments that I would get on a lot of my videos and stuff. And I've come to realize that I really feel sorry for a lot of these people out there that they have to spend the time to watch a video that I didn't make them click on, they did, and then they have to turn around and accept the fact that they have to be negative, they want to try to bring you down and everything else because they're either jealous of your situation, of all the hard work that you've done to put into a, a, a channel, a YouTube channel, and they have to try and, you know, make themselves feel like they're conquering something when in all true effect, they're not hurting anybody. And I stopped deleting all those type of messages. I've stopped doing all that. I really don't pay attention. And like I said, I feel pretty sorry for a lot of those folks out there. Um, it doesn't matter what type of videos you make. It doesn't really matter what you do with your life. What matters is, is that you're happy and what matters is that you feel secure in what you are doing in the time frame that you are given. You have to sit back and you have to really realize that, you know what, 
I don't really care what this person has to say or this person has to say. Not everybody is going to agree with what I say, with what anybody says, but just because we disagree doesn't mean we have to be enemies, right? I mean, there's so much of this BS going on, especially nowadays, that we just have to sit back and realize our lives are our lives. We have to do and plan for what we foresee maybe happening in the future. This is something that is a very hard thing for a lot of people to do and to grasp their hands and their head around because it's just not the norm. You see, a lot of people out there, they don't like anything that's out of the norm. These people, they just want to sit back and they want to do whatever they can to try and take you down, bring you down and everything else. And you have to follow their ways. You have to do things their way. You have to agree with them on every given situation, which is ridiculous. We have to sit back and you really have to think about what it is that you particularly want to make sure that you are doing for you and your family and what the quote right thing is for you to do. You want to make sure that you have your own plans. You want to make sure that you do things the way you think that they should be done and in a orderly manner. You want to make sure that you're executing whatever it is that you want to do with your life. Now, I have chosen, I do YouTube videos, I have a Facebook page, I do Instagram, and I do all this kind of stuff, and I do it to better people's knowledge and to make people aware. Now, you may do things different than I do. You may want to have different types of supplies. You may want to have different types of foods because everybody has a different diet that they like and that they want to eat and everything else, but that doesn't stop you from being prepared. What it does is, is it ensures that in the end, you will prevail in the goal that you have set. No difference than if with your job, you know, you go into a new job, you want to impress your boss, you want to try and make sure that, you know, what you're doing, you're doing it the best of your ability. You want to try to stand out from other people to try to move yourself up the ladder and try and make a difference. That's what it's all about. And if we can somehow come together as a community, come together as more of a um, conglomerate of different types of people with different types of ideas, and we start putting these ideas together, all that's going to do is, is help bring awareness to a lot of different people out there, especially people that haven't been prepping for quite a long time. Maybe they've never prepped before. Maybe the younger generation will eventually realize that there is a benefit to the whole prepping world. Doesn't mean that you have to have a house full of food and goods and supplies and all this other type of stuff, but at least if you're prepped just for enough to get you through a bad situation, whatever it could be, is a bonus. You need to be aware that in any given moment, these things can change. It's life as we live. So in the end, we really have to pay attention to what our goals are, what our needs are, what we want to accomplish, and we have to stop worrying about what Uncle Joe down the street says, or, you know, Susie down the road says, or, you know, somebody you work with says, or anything else, when you stop caring what everybody else thinks about what you are doing, 
your life is going to be a lot easier to deal with on an everyday basis in anything that you want to accomplish from your job maybe you have goals that you want to set and you want to try to uh, achieve those different types of goals maybe you want to be an entrepreneur you maybe want to uh, you want to do YouTube videos you want to do whatever just because other people don't think that you would be good at it or maybe you wouldn't like to do it or they don't like it or whatever else you have to at least try because see you're not going to know how this is all going to play out and how it's going to work if you don't put the time in you don't think about it and if you don't sit back and really realize that in the end folks it's what you really want to do with your life and how you want to execute your own plan so i'm survival preparedness for beginners i wanted to bring this video to you today i know it's not a quote prepping video but it is a video on self-esteem on how you need to really look at things what you need to care about and how you need to execute everything so that you maybe can hit those goals that you're trying to do. So until next time, folks, I want everybody to stay positive. I want you to sit back and look at your life and see, am I happy with what I'm doing? Do I need to be doing more? Do I want to try this? Do I want to do this? The sky's the limit. You have the control to do whatever it is you want to do and don't let people knock you down. Don't pay attention to all the negative. Make sure that whatever it is, it comes from your heart and you are totally committed to whatever it is that you want to do with your life and how you want to be prepared. So until next time, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. My name is Charles. I'll catch all of you on the flip side.